Hey friends, welcome to my channel Tropical Fruits. My name is Thomas. There is a part of my Tropical Fruits. I'm a tropical fruit collector and I love to grow them from seeds. So because of that you are see you will see a lot of small plants. I'm growing them all in small pots or in pots. Because I live in Austria, we have six months cold season and six months of warmer season. So I want to show you my plants to give you an update. Because now it's winter time or winter is coming. So I had to bring them inside the house. And yeah, I have them inside the house and I want to show you how they look like, how they are growing. So, I want to start with the hardest section of my collection. It's the Cerrado section. It's really hard to grow them in pots. It's easy to germinate them because they are germinating really fast with my germinating method. I will link this video in the video. But to keep them healthy, to keep them growing, it's really, really hard. I have here Eugenia Closantiana. These plants are two years old. They are putting out two or four leaves each year and that's it. Then I have here other Cerrado species, you see. They are dying off, then they are re-sprouting, so the only one which are growing pretty good in pots are the Eugenia Seda, the Eugenia Caipora and this one which I lost the name, I think it's the Marmeladinia or something like that. And yeah, here I have uh, Mama Cadela, this is also growing good, but the rest of them are, are pretty, pretty yeah sad looking they aren't growing healthy they aren't dying but they aren't growing healthy so yeah that's something if you want to experience it go on go for it but it will be pretty hard to grow them in pots and have them on a healthy state then i have here also a dry loving section with some anonas Eugenia flamingensis growing now pretty strong. Um, a red pitanga tuba, Eugenia sp. This plant was a lot taller, but I cut it back so it can spread out more branches. Here I have some Eugenias like Eugenia beopariana. A sun drop, Eugenia Victoriana, um, Eugenia Lushnatiana, the, the Pitanga. Then I have a section with Poterias. I found out Poterias are also harder to grow or to keep healthy in pots. This one is a Poteria Torta. The Gallifrutta, it's a subspecies what I know of Poteria. And then I have other ones. Back there I have Manilcaras, the um, also Sapotesa family. And here I have a mixed plate with Eugenia. Mm, Copa Cavanensis and the uh, ah, uh, it's a rare one, it's also from Cerrado. The Perinha do Cerrado, it's the pear shaped from Miguel from Portugal. I have it in a very high pot so the tap root can grow all the way down. Yeah, that seems Cerrado plants need. Then they like really deep pots 
so they can send the root down and then later on they are starting to grow above the, the soil then I have here a part of my smaller Plinias and Murciarias on the right side I have giant mulchi, the mulchi and this is a Murciaria quaqueia pretty big from seal here I have Mm, the Plinia Coronata Ojo de Boy and Valparaiso. These two are what I know the two biggest varieties of Coronatas. Then I have here, as I said, some Murciarias, the Rock, the yeah, Murciaria Roxa. I don't know the normal name. There I have a Glaciaviana, a Glomorata, um, Cuspitata, um, the Johnnyville, and yeah, some other ones like the Blue Guacuella and Dark Blue Guacuella. I have inside here some other Plinias like. Plinia Oreana Costata, the Brancamel, Coronatas, different Coronatas, I'm very in Coronatas, and I think a Trunciflora is in there, the Cafe Rayada. Here I have something really unusual, a jackfruit, that's nothing unusual. Oh, yeah, it's unusual because it's growing in a pot but it's flowering my friends a flowering jackfruit in austria and in a pot it will never set um, fruits because this is what i know a male flower and it's way too small to hold fruit but yeah pretty cool to see it's fruiting in that pot <laughs> and yeah here we are in the section where I have my bigger plants, um, here a plate with only Garcinias, I have there I think five Garcinia looks, um, two from Salami, I think there's the Sweet 90s and the only sweet, it's a, there are SPs, then I have Garcinia macroprofilata, uh, Garcinia pendunculata, and the other one, some Garcinia humilis, the Achachairu. I think I have there like 25 or 30 seedlings, so I'm planning to bring them to another country to plant them into soil because I like. The fruit a lot for me it's like it's not that good like Garcinia mangosteen but it's easier to grow it fruits faster and yeah it's still pretty damn good so yeah I'm planning to bring them into other countries so now I'm I'm growing them a little bit out and when they are a little bigger and healthier I will take them out from the soil and bring them to with another country. Here I have a, a Eugenia uniflora, that's the black seals, grown from seed in three, in three years. I think next year it should start to flower or at, le at least to flower, not to fruit, maybe not to fruit, but to flower. This is Eugenia squamiflora. Also two years old from seed there is a Eugenia uh, yeah I, I, the Uvaia I don't know the Latin name now then I have some bigger as I said Plinias um, Plinia that's a Grimmel SP 
uh, Oreana, this is uh, Grandiflora, um, uh, Escalate, then I have here a variegated mulberry, little variegation. This is a chicken claw mulberry. It's Morus something. It's a other species, but it's a mulberry. There, or back there, I have a, a Plinia edulis, Eugenia murciantes, different varieties of Eugenia unifloras. Anthropopogana, uh, Eugenias, Victorianas, and um, yeah, some of my bigger plants as I said. I have the mixed Eugenias and Plinias. Here I have some Anonas. This is a grafted, I grafted it. It's the Atemoya. African Pride and the uh, Atemoya Temoilata, the red fruiting Atemoya. Here I have the Anona. Oh, it's from the Pantanal. Very, it loves a lot of water. Anona, uh, it looks like a small guanabana. Oh, I forgot the name. Fuck. Yeah, but it's. It loves water. That thing you can ha have it sit the whole day in water, the whole yeah, the whole time, and nothing will happen. Then I have here a Campomanesia baia, the big fruit in Campomanesia. Uh, in the back there is our other Campomanesias and a Psidium cauliflora, a Psidium that grows. The fruits on the trunk like uh, Jabuticaba and yeah, I have some ornamentals too. Ornamental cactus is variegated, some desert roses, curly leaves, curly leaves, big trunk. I love to make bonsais out of them. For me, they are one of the nicest looking bonsais and I have a section of of course, ornamental plants. I think I have eight or nine different monsteras. This is a Oreana. There is a um, variegated Albo. I have um, Anturiums. A lot of different Anturiums. I like them a lot. For me, they have quite and a very aesthetic look. There is a Monstera Unica, green on green, also pretty nice one. This is a electric light. Yeah, I have a Tricolor, Monstera Tricolor. Yeah, some Alocasias. If you want, Drop me a like and I will make a video on my ornamental plants, uh, like an update video or like a tour. And yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so it keeps growing. More people see the videos and share my videos. If you have friends who will start with this hobby, with growing their plants from seed, please. Uh, as I said, the video is in the video description and we will see you the next time, my friends.